So if you guys are unfamiliar with Asmongold, he basically plays video games for a living. There's a very popular live streaming platform called Twitch. I actually watch it pretty occasionally, and I have been watching him personally play video games over the past few months. However, he does have some, you know, questionable things about his personality and how he acts and you know, people make fun of him because he has a lot of money because of how popular he is and he still looks like a literal like basement rat. Guys, I work all the time. I barely sleep. I could take more showers and this guy makes me look like the cleanest person on the planet. I mean, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the wrinkled t-shirt. I mean, you know, you could get a haircut once every two months, maybe wash your face once a day. But let's see how he makes his $2 steak. What's up, boys? So I've wanted to do this for a while. A lot of people have asked for it and we're finally going to do it. Today, I'm going to show you all how I cook a steak. I know how to cook one meal, a steak. And today, you're going to learn how to do the same thing. Now, I would say that steak is the most important meal of the day. Usually, whenever I get up around 2 to 3 p.m., I start the day off. I eat one to four cookies, uh, maybe a, some gummy lifesavers. Uh, maybe go down to, I don't know, McDonald's to get some food. And then towards the end of the night, and this is about where we're at now, uh, it's about, looks like a little, a little past 1 a.m. And so this is prime steak time. And I'd like to show you guys how I actually do it. Now, I don't like to get... The... Now, is he lying that that's what he eats? Because that sounds like a ridiculous diet like a few cookies, getting fast food, and then and then going the whole day, and then having this. I mean, it, it makes you wonder if this guy was sent to get like young men to believe that it's okay to behave like this to some degree, but I don't know. Good steaks. Now, the reason for that is not because I don't like the good steaks. It's because I don't want to like the good steaks. The fact is that I've been using these steaks. I've been getting these steaks now for, I don't know, probably fucking 10 years and my mom always made them for me and uh these are these steaks right here you guys can see i've got them in a bag and uh this whole bag it had four steaks in it and it was uh how much money was it uh this thing's all fucked up what does it say oh my god what a piece of shit okay i'm gonna have to open this which is all right because you know we're gonna have to need to do that for the steaks so I'll show you guys how much uh, my steaks are, and uh, this is a meal I usually make for myself multiple times a, a week. Uh, seven dollars. So it's seven dollars for four steaks here, and uh, I get these as I said all the time. Uh, they're delicious. I have no complaints. I have no problems. I like to keep things simple. I like to keep things cheap. So next thing. Now this guy apparently he lives with his family still. In this kind of like old rundown house. I mean, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, actually makes me wonder if when these people are so popular and they make a lot of money that they can't actually take the money themselves and they're sending it to, you know, who, you know, the people kind of in control. That's that's my assumption of why he's allowed to be so popular because he's not actually making most of the money himself. But just a theory thing is you're going to need a, uh, well, you're going to need a pan. The thing is that I have about 20 pans in my house. 19 of them are dirty. Well, actually 20 of them are dirty. I'm about to have to clean number 19 or number 20 here. And uh, I really just clean and, and use the same pan over and over. I don't think you're going to want to see this, but uh, basically... I had this problem with my sink, and uh, basically the sink uh, wouldn't uh, there's it wouldn't like uh, wouldn't uh, fucking uh, like drain. The sink was like black of like water, and that was a fucking problem for like two months. And so I got a liquid plumber and I fixed that. And so now it's it's not a problem. I I just don't believe this guy because it it would cost you you know such an insignificant amount of money to. To have a maid come maybe once a month, twice a month and clean stuff up or or get a plumber to come once a year. Twice. Like it doesn't it doesn't make sense. 
like his how he apparently lives versus how much money he makes us well, but it was and um but anyway so let's go ahead and uh i'm gonna go ahead and clean this so you see right here there's uh there's these little flies i don't know why they're here it's just some fucking bullshit and so the first thing you do um like obviously i i, I hate washing dishes um I, I only I only use paper plates and plastic uh, utensils. I think that sometimes I have to use a, a real fork and knife for this. There is no silverware that is clean in the house. Uh, that was not that I just I, I don't really do that. And uh, there's a lot of dirty silverware. And then every every about like every two months or so, I have this like kind of I'm, I'm trying to think of like what to put it. It's like a midlife crisis. It's like a mid-month crisis because it happens all the time. And uh, basically what I do is I clean up like three things in the house. And, uh, you know, maybe I don't drink soda for like five hours. And I... I, I don't understand if this guy is like acting because, <laughs> you know, why would you include these details if you weren't trying to say it's okay for people to live like this? I mean... Like, aren't you embarrassed a little bit? I think to myself, like, I'm going to turn my life around. And I feel such an overwhelming sense of pride and accomplishment. I figure that, you know what, I've earned myself a little bit of a break. I crack open another cold one and, uh, you know, throw the garbage back on the floor. And so that's generally how things go. The handle of the pan, uh, it's like falling off. <laughs> uh, you can screw it back in. And I tried to screw it back in with a kitchen knife, uh, but I need a screwdriver, but it's been like a pain in the ass for like the past six months. And um, it's just been fucking annoying. The screwdriver's up at the garage. I just... and anyway, so uh, number one- like, like, is he just trolling, you know? Is he just trolling? We have the pan. Now also we have to have, uh, as with any good steak, what do you eat with the steak? I didn't make a comment about his hair yet because I was trying to remember like what type of analogy it looks like. It's like it wisps away, you know, uh, maybe like the uh, the ice warriors in Game of Thrones. What are those people called? It looks like it could be their hair, you know, like on a, a 3000 year old corpse. <laughs> Great question. You eat a potato. Now, uh, I only, as I said, I only make this meal. I uh, do this all the time. You have one potato. Now, uh, okay, give me give me a minute. I gotta. This is really annoying. I've, now I've got to clean a fucking fork too. Uh, all the forks are dirty. The White Walkers. The White Walkers. That's what I they're called in Game of Thrones. Steaks with them. That's like, what hair he has. Doing it with a plastic. Fork Old dead corpses. Ancient fork people. Melted, uh, melted onto the. Pan. Oh, you know what? It could also be the hair of like some mummified Egyptian pharaoh. You know. And so that was really kind of unfortunate. And so we don't it use just looks so dry. to make steaks anymore. Uh, this is some fork my mom ordered. It was some overpriced thing uh, at uh, on eBay. I think this, you know, this like whole set was at $100. So we're going to get our money's worth out of it. So next thing you do is you want to... Silverware usually costs that much if it's made from even just basic stainless steel. Silverware is usually about $100 a set. It's not expensive. That's how, what you have to pay for it. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about the potato. So the potato, uh, this is how I cook a potato, is I take the fork and I stab the shit out of the potato. And this is what my mom told me to do because she didn't want to have to fucking put it in the oven. And I stab the fuck out of the potato and I put the bitch in the microwave. I thought it was going to be bad too, but it wasn't. I put this bitch in for eight and a half minutes. So a microwave is one of the most avoidable sources of radiation in the house. It's very, very high. Even if I have like my bed canopy set up with even two or three layers of bed canopy, uh, it's so powerful that the microwave will go through that. So when you're using it for multiple minutes, you know, your family's using a microwave all day, it's, it's very, very bad for your overall health. Very bad. So you need butter. You want to put butter on the pan. Uh, I don't even know why you do that. Uh, I just see other people doing it. I really have no idea. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, anyway, let's go ahead. I'll just put it over here. 
and I'll just put the butter. I mean, you guys can fucking believe that I put the butter on the pan, right? Like, I don't have to fucking bring you guys over here. You can believe that? All right, good. So anyway, uh, you put the butter on the pan, and you turn the pan on. And so, uh... I mean, it's, it's, I, like, I, don't, I don't know what to say here. Like, it's a, like, what am I supposed to critique what he's doing? It's, I mean, that's even ridiculous to do. Uh, it, it's a steel pan, which you probably shouldn't cook steaks in because they're going to stick very easily. And he's putting butter in first. And usually you cook a steak at a high heat, so the butter's going to burn. But I think he's just trolling. For like maybe a couple of, uh, a couple of like 30 seconds, a minute or so. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and get back into uh, the steak situation. So uh, I have three things that I put on my steaks. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Um, so, uh, this is a Worcestershire sauce. Uh, the reason why I do this is because my dad does this. Um, they were out of the, uh, the Kraft Worcestershire sauce, which is like literally like way cheaper. So I had to buy this shit. It's all the same. Who gives a fuck? And so also, uh, this is steak seasoning. Uh, Salt Lake is a place here in Austin. Uh, I went there one time for, uh, uh, some fucking thing, and uh, it was pretty good, so uh, I decided to get the steak seasoning. Steak seasoning's pretty good, and uh, also we get lemon pepper. And so those three things... Those... I, I was with it until he said the lemon pepper. Uh, the Worcestershire sauce, I'm a fan of like the flavor and stuff, but it's definitely not made with the highest quality ingredients, and uh, we do have Frankie's steak seasoning on Frankie's Two Range Meat, which is minimally inflammatory. Lemon pepper, though, I don't know. I mean lemon on red meat to me is like kind of uh... Uh, that, that's the steak ingredients so now as you can see uh the uh i was gonna say as you can see you can't see it because uh, i didn't i'm too lazy i don't want to uh, just put it over here but yeah there's like fucking uh like uh butter in like the pan and shit right and so um every time that i cook a steak so, like, you know how, like, women take pictures of, like, their food? You, you, you know, like, you, you go on Instagram and it's, like, some girl. She's taking a picture of her food again. Uh, I'm a man. I don't do that. But I do take pictures of every single steak that I cook. I cook the exact same steak every single time. And I take a picture of it at the end. That way I remember how good it was. So I'm assuming he does this every day. Let's begin. Like that, like this is uh, his. We've got a steak right here. This is a, oh, this is a good one. Dinner every day. So it's not a big one. This is a nice, uh, nice little small meal. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm not 100% sure what steak that is. It, it's really lean, even though it's grain fed, probably. So it looks like it could be just a thinly sliced piece of sirloin because it, it's a pretty long cut. Uh, that's my first guess at what it is, that it's sirloin. And I mean, it's, it's just so cheap, but I mean, to complain about red meat when the rest of his diet is fast food, even if it is grain fed red meat, it's at least he's still getting some B vitamins, you know, uh, I'm about some animal protein, about six, three or so. And, uh, I don't know if we want to get we want to double up on steaks today or not. This is definitely a smaller size steak. Ah, it's fine. If I'm hungry later on, I'll just eat another cookie. Um, and so this is, yeah, we'll just, just go ahead and go with this steak right here. Now what's crazy about this, and I guess one of the main reasons I'm doing this video, is it's a $2 steak. You know, $2. I mean, if you're paying 4 to $5 a pound grocery store prices, because we're assuming he's eating about half a pound of meat, like, how well could the cattle have been fed and treated that's just insanely insanely dirt cheap insane you know if you're not spending 10 15 20 dollars per meal even on home cooked food generally speaking it's not going to be high quality uh, i stabbed the steak a little bit get a little uh that way i get the uh this this, this, this shit in there on the steak so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and take you guys i'm gonna move you a little bit over here and so you gotta shake shake this bitch up right and the reason you do that is because on the back of the bottle it says to do it and so, you know this uh, reminds me of like the the hick cooking and i mean 
I don't think hick is the best word, but when, when you have low quality meat a lot of the time, like people like putting ketchup and barbecue sauce and all this stuff on the steak just because it doesn't taste good with just salt on it. And I'll show you guys what we're doing here. Um, we get this. Oh, I'm fucking up. Uh, so you guys, you guys messed me up. I mean, the pan uh, wasn't hot. Do these first. He basically put the steak better. in cold butter. Uh, now, now it's, it's, it's cooking. He didn't now, season now it I'm, before. I'm, I'm getting stressed out. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, so so I put... I think I, he's I acting. It's it's so... This on the steak. There we go. All right, good. Oh, my God. It, it's Okay, all right, all right. So then uh, we get the lemon pepper, and this... Izzy taught me how to make a steak, but I don't know if she'll like the, my own little things I put on. All right, so did I shake this one? I, I don't remember. Okay, so anyway, we'll put this on... He's, I mean, he's trolling, I I right? Like, but is he trolling to be funny? I mean, because he's doing a pretty poor job at acting like he's awkward and, you know, it just seems, he just, his behavior seems weird. So then, there you go. There's the steak. Oh, wow. What a good steak. And so, then after that, obviously, you got to turn the bitch over. And so, what you do there is you turn it, oh, shit. Um, so, you turn it, fuck, okay. Um, all right, all right. No, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. So, I'm, I'm going to keep this one down just for a minute. Now, sometimes uh, we're gonna go for, I usually put a little bit more of this right here. And we got- I mean, it's hard, it's hard to make a steak taste bad. We're gonna get it probably still tastes there. okay. And I know some people are gonna think that I only get my, I only eat my steaks medium. Uh, sorry, not medium rare. I, I, I get steaks medium to medium well at restaurants, but at home, I only cook steaks well done. The reason for that is because um, I I'm paranoid. I don't want to eat something that's bad. Oh man, that's a good ass fucking steak, man. And so anyway, you get you get it in the pan. You get all those sauces on it, and you just really have yourself a good time. Um, I have to take a picture of this one after the video. And so anyway, let me put this back on. And uh... I f I feel I just. It's just half the stuff that comes out of his mouth is just so ridiculous and stupid. You don't believe it. Like, is he trolling about saying he's take, he takes pictures of the steaks every day? Uh, talk a little bit more about uh, some of the things that I do. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. And so anyway, um, so basically I take the steak and I just put it back on the pan uh, up and down. I, I got a um, fucking uh, shit. Okay, I mean, so that steak with how thin it was has like, to be well done already. It's, it's probably too hot. Uh, just, just a minute, it's, uh, this happens sometimes. Oh, wow, what a steak. And so, uh, just a minute. I, uh, one time I tried to make something else that wasn't a steak. So he, he claims to be so cheap, but that looks like a, a new crisp Ziploc bag. Hmm. Wouldn't he be reusing the ziploc bags huh wouldn't he is this just a set you know is this all fake now i only make steaks i'll put this back in the refrigerator the only thing i have in the refrigerator and now i will say i'm assuming someone else lives with him and he claims to not clean anything but even though like he's in a pretty old house with old appliances and cabinets it's very, very clean. Like if you just saw the inside of his fridge, it's very clean. This doesn't look like a house that someone hasn't cleaned because all the surfaces, although they're aged, it looks like they were just freshly wiped down. Uh, is, is cake. Um, like, like look at all this stuff here. Like every, even everything on the, the cabinets and the shelves, every, everything is pretty clean. Very clean actually. The stove top, there's no grease splattered everywhere. I mean, but he claims he doesn't clean, so maybe someone else is cleaning up after him. I get, uh, I get cakes at the grocery store and I, I eat them. So the steak's pretty much fucking done at this point. Uh, the good thing about these steaks is that I get them and I cook them about the same time that the, the potato is getting microwaved. So this is a good quick meal. Now, usually I eat steaks about six times a week uh, with like one day being Chipotle. 
actually that's not true maybe two days being chipotle some days that i i do have chipotle and a steak at the same time oh yeah i was gonna say yeah so i'm a, I'm a pretty tall guy uh I'm like 140 145 I'm, I'm getting a little fat to be honest um Six three one forty. I mean, I don't eat a lot of food. Basically, I'm not. A, I'm not a big food eater. So this might not seem like a big meal to you, but to me, this is delicious and it's great. Um. Uh, since he said he was uh one forty, uh, I do have to bring this up. There was a meme uh, a while ago that his legs like slipped out in a video once. And this was like, this was his leg. <laughs> it was like, it, it was like so skinny. Like they made memes and jokes about, about how skinny. <laughs> Very funny memes and jokes about how, how skinny and how, how, like, how bad of a shape he was in. Oh God. The reason why I like steaks so much is because of the fact that I just think that they taste really good. I'm actually really glad that they're easy to make because if they weren't easy to make, I would never eat them until I like it. Well, sometimes they'll take me out for like a business dinner and uh, you order like a $200 steak and it's on the company card, so fuck them. But besides that, I mean, we're talking about $7 steak pads. I just don't believe the character. You know, why, why pretend you're broke? Everyone knows you have a lot of money. Do you actually not get the money like I said earlier? Uh, what are you saving up your money for? You know, I mean, the guy's in his 30s, right? On a daily basis. Uh, usually I go to the grocery store, I get steaks, I get potatoes, I get cookies. Oh, yeah. There's these uh, new uh, Dr. Peppers. Oh, have, wait. The, uh, the, the lighting on the camera just changed. So... It looked a lot more yellow before, like almost like someone smoked a cigarette in that in that room every day. But uh, now it's it's a little lighter. Like real sugar in them, uh, they're pretty good. So I get those two, and that's about all I get at the grocery store. Sometimes I get the. Um, I was like this. Let me see if I can show you guys. Uh, do I have any? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, so. This is also one of my special snacks. Um, basically, I have uh, Best Buy April 2022. Okay, so we're going to throw these away. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, these are uh, uh, like uh, yog uh, yogurt things. I feel like he's trolling. If, like, uh, he's saying that they're his snack, but they've been in his fridge all year. And it has like strawberry and blueberry, and it's frozen. Uh, I've never seen the movie. Anyway, uh, let's... Uh, I'm guess. I mean, I thought this was an act from the start. It has to be, right? Then again, if he's telling some truth, and like he's not off the floor, right? He's been eating this crappy food all day, every day. I mean, your brain is just going to be messed up, which is part of the reason I started YouTube, is for nutrition that. If you don't remove all the toxins and pollutants and the negative things from your lifestyle, all the crap they put in the food supply that's actually like controlling our minds, you don't behave as like, I don't know, correct, normal, smart, intelligent. And I remember how I was before I followed the high quality diet. I used to be closer to this. And it's almost believable if you experience the transition of following a regular standard American diet to how much differently you think when you remove those toxins and poisons from the food that most people eat every day. Um, so the steak is pretty much done. Uh, so if you want to take a look. Uh, uh, okay, he said that twice. He repeated himself that the steak is pretty much done. And having that microwave on, the EMF, the Wi-Fi, and usually the regular levels of radiation in most people's homes, that, that's a very significant thing that happens. Memory issues, repeating yourself over and over again, forgetting what you said moments ago. That, that's one of the key signs of a high radio frequency radiation environment. I'll show you the steak. Uh, this, is a, this, is, this looks like a good ass fucking steak. 
So you, you take a look at this. Look at it. You can literally see it's like steaming. This is it's emanating power out. From Probably better this, than what uh, most of his viewers eat, to be table. honest. So you have the, that's obviously a steak. This is a delicious. This is going to be a delicious steak. I can't wait to eat this one. So I was watching a uh, an anime, and uh, I saw it because I I got Crunchyroll because I wanted to watch uh, Fist of the North Star, and uh, you know I'm a big JoJo fan, and uh, heard it was inspired by that. Oh, I put oh fuck. You guys know what a weeb is? Weeb is slang for someone that watches anime, and uh, you know. Middle-aged white dudes, college white dudes that don't shave, that sit in their basement that watch anime. I think that's pretty good. I mean, we weebs in general are just people that watch anime, not necessarily this type of. <laughs> um. So anyway, uh, I had that, and so I saw this. Um, I saw this uh, fucking anime. It was called um, My Stepdaughter's, uh, My Stepmom's Daughter's, My Ex. And I watched the first episode. I watched the first episode. What does this have to do with this video? Is he going to bring up something relevant? And I'm on episode seven now. Let's put this stuff away. No, he's just rambling. Okay. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, try to, I try to put the stuff that I'm not using away. There's no real reason for that. It's just that it's a pain in the dick to use the, uh, the microwave. Uh, if, if there's something in the way. Yeah, that's basically about it. And so now I have uh, paper plates right in front of me. And these are, uh, let's see. Uh, these are really, these are the high quality. Uh, you know, I, people ask me, like, what do you do now that you, uh, you, you know, you, your, your stream does well and you make money? Uh, well, I, these paper plates, there's only like 30 of them and it was like $5. So these are the these are the hard, real. This these are the steak paper plates. These are the paper plates I eat steak off. Of. So uh, you get the you get the paper plate here. You put the steak right there on the plate, and then let's get the, uh, the fucking potato. So you put the potato right here, also on the plate. And uh, do I have a knife? Oh yeah, yeah. I need to get another knife. I'm running out of battery on my phone because I didn't charge. He, he, I mean, I've said it like 10 times now, right? He has to be trolling. None of this makes sense. I mean, you guys can't really see the, the meal he just put down, but let's, let's wait to see if he moves the plate because I'm blocking it. My phone and my phone's also running out of memory. So this video is going to have to be over kind of soon because uh, I also want to eat the steak. And so uh, I'm going to just cut this bitch open real quick just so you guys can see what we're all about. And so you cut that potato open. That's a good fucking looking potato. Oh man, look at that. Okay, he moved it. And so you see this right here. Now he said earlier that he only used plastic utensils, but he does have silverware, which makes sense. It's basically impossible to eat a steak and potato with plastic utensils. Another big reason I think he's lying is because this is so low in calories. It's insane. That can't be more than like, 150 200 calories worth of steak and what is the potato like 150 200 as well i could be a little bit off but if this meal is only several hundred calories and he's claiming that he just had i mean if he's eating cookies all day and the cookies are really calorically dense maybe that's what he's making up the calories with that has to be it he's just eating more like at least 50 percent of his calories from cookies this is what, it's just not what, enough food Pretty much every day I, i've never gotten sick i've never had a bet like i've never gotten sick after eating a steak i've never felt bad after eating a steak i'm a simple man i live a simple life i like steak and fucking potato and i don't care if it's a cheap steak it's a good fucking steak and it's good enough for me so anyway uh before I... It's pretty hard to get sick after eating red meat because of how they feed the animals, how the, the meat is processed, how the animals slaughtered, how it's stored in the grocery store, the nutrient content. It, it's one of the safest foods, actually, and people are so afraid of it. 
Uh, I mean, something like chicken or pork, lower quality stuff, even just salads and vegetables, what people should really be afraid of, not red meat, not a steak, not beef. Usually leave the kitchen area. Uh, this is the pan here. As you can see, it's dirty. So what we do is I just put water on it. And I do that because this makes it to where like uh, it's easy to get the stuff off. And then I just leave it on the counter until the next steak time, which will probably be tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I wanted to share kind of uh, what what I'm doing and, and kind of how I make these steaks and everything. I know a lot of people ask about it. Uh, this was a method. Um, Izzy taught me how to make steaks, and she probably will not be happy with some of the little twists that I put on it but I think I'm doing great. And I also use A1 for my steaks. I've what did you say A1 that his, for a long his time. This one girlfriend usually cooks it? I left it down here to remind myself to get more A1. I have four more bottles upstairs and I think one of them has actually, isn't, no, it's two of them that, that are empty and then there's two that are not. It's, yeah, yeah, because the other one is like a different kind of A1. Yeah, so anyway, I use A1 with my steak. So anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to do this video and kind of show you all how it's done uh, by a steak master. Thank you so much for watching. I might do another one of these. Peace. I bet you he actually gets more calories from the A1 steak sauce in the Worcestershire than is actually in the steak itself. Let's see what the comments say. <laughs> <laughs> you turned a $2 steak into a $1 steak. Liked and subscribed. Sometimes I want to believe that Asmund has been trolling us for years and never breaks character, but it makes me happy to think that he's always 100% authentic. No, I think he's actually trolling. I think he's actually decent enough at playing this part that it convinces most people. You know, it's an interesting meal when he says, I've never gotten sick at his first response to looking at it finished. <laughs> this is comedic gold. All the while, he's being 100% serious. I haven't laughed this hard at a video in years. <laughs> peak npc content and i love it multi-millionaire lives in an old house looks homeless cooks two dollar steaks with a side of unwashed microwave potato peak humanity right here oh my god so do most people actually believe he's not trolling this guy is worth millions and is microwaving a potato in a kitchen that hasn't been updating since the 80s fucking legend like i think he's just lying like you guys you guys no one else sees this besides me uh, I mean, they, uh, <laughs> maybe the reason people believe him is because he makes them feel so much better about themselves. They don't overlook that. It's so ridiculous that it can't be real. He at least has his own house and kitchen. That's still way ahead of me in life. I thought he, I thought this was his like parents old house or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's completely ridiculous and crazy and stupid. Uh, but if you do want to support me and providing people with reasonable quality food, you can go to frank com. Check out all of my businesses where you can get uh, <laughs> uh, a not-so-comparable steak on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for the next video.